Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, I'm gonna to be heading out to the Sam Houston National Forest. It's October 22nd. I'm gonna be heading out there. I've got a camera set up that I need to pick up and check the card on. I haven't really seen a ton of action out there, so I'm not expecting too much, but I figured since I'm going out there, I might as well try and walk a little bit deeper, see if I can find any sign and set up for the afternoon. It is Friday, October 23rd. It's about 4.30 in the morning. About to head out to my uncle's here. Um, I'm gonna be hunting over this scrape where my cell camera is at. Seeing a decent amount of action there in the past week or two. Um, not a lot of does, but there's been one or two legal bucks out there. So hopefully one of those will come by this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out there and when I get set up, I'll turn y'all back on. So I'm up in the tree. And I've got a trail over here that comes right through here and comes right out under me. There's a scrape right here. And then if you come down over to the right on this trail, we've got another two scrapes. Five o'clock right now. I'm getting ready to head out to the property in Oklahoma. I've seen quite a bit of activity in the mornings out there. We've got a full moon. It says it's 34 degrees here. <clears throat> so it's a little chilly for uh, this Texas kid, but I think I've got about five layers on right now. So hopefully I'll be able to stay warm. But yesterday I saw about four doe in the morning around 7.30, 7.40. The previous three days around that time I've seen an older buck. Uh, yesterday that buck came out about 8, 8.30. So hopefully uh, something comes out here early in the morning and I can get a shot off and harvest my first deer with my bow. All right, I'll turn you all on when I get there. All right guys, it's 6.15. We've got about an hour or so until legal shooting light. It'll take me about 15, 20 minutes to get out to the tripod. I'm gonna be sitting over the feeder I was at last time. I can set up my camera there. Like I said before, I've seen quite a bit of action on my cell cameras as well. So hopeful something shows up. It's now 30 degrees out, so it's getting a little chilly, but hopefully that gets the deer moving and I'll turn you all on when something shows up. Halloween morning. It is 5.05. Uh, I didn't do an exit interview yesterday, but I saw a couple doe and they're about to pop out to the feeder and to, to my shooting lanes. But they heard some hogs uh, fighting or something in the background and turned around and took off. Um, they didn't really run off actually. They kind of just walked off. So I don't know that they were really spooked. They just didn't think it was a good idea. So I'm gonna head out to a different spot. We have a little bit different of a wind and we'll see if anything shows up there. I don't have a cell cam, so I really haven't seen much of the action. I'll end up pulling the chip afterwards and we'll see if there's been a lot of action or not. Uh, but with the wind we have, this is just the best spot to be at. So I'll go ahead and turn you all on when we get there.
So as I'm editing this video, you know, going through some of this footage, I can definitely see some of the frustrations and hear them in my voice. I had two straight days where I didn't see anything. You know, and then I'm out in Oklahoma. Then my first morning out there, almost had a doe come out, didn't have any luck. And then this last morning, you know, having four deer come up just kind of rejuvenated me, I guess, in a sense, and was really exciting. I know I didn't get a shot off and was a little nervous on what movements I could make, so I still have a lot to learn on that front. I think hindsight, I would have been a lot more aggressive if I knew nothing else was going to show up, but it was still really early in the morning. And at this point, you know, I, I'd rather test the limits and try and figure out how much movement I can really make and get a shot off than let four deer walk by me again. So hopefully over Thanksgiving when I'm back out at the property hunting some more, I'll have a couple more opportunities. I also did see a lot of good trail cam footage. So I'm going to roll through a couple minutes of those. I have some pretty big deer, quite a few hogs. I even saw some turkeys in there, so that was kind of cool. Seeing all this trail cam footage and some of the deer and the action and movement in these areas, it kind of shows that I'm on the right path, you know, where I've set up some of my cameras and feeders to make sure that I get some of this good movement from these mature bucks. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and hopefully the next one I end up harvesting my first animal with a bow. Thanks for watching, guys.